Hi, welcome to another tech video. So today we are going to be looking at this. So um, this is a Dell Optiplex 3080s Core i5 um, machine with 256 gig SSD or M.2 drive, uh, 8 gig of RAM and um, we bought, originally bought this for a customer. Um, they uh, no longer needed it so we ended up with this uh, rather than sending it back um, we're actually going to make use of it so um, what are we going to make use of it to do I'll show you shortly so this area here is uh, the sort of build area um, the office area we've got uh, we've got the printer we've got a load of crap here um, we've got two uh, QNAP devices there's a four four drive system and a two drive system. So the four drive systems running RAID 5, two drive systems running RAID 1 obviously. And then if we swing it round over here, um, we've got another pile of rubbish. Well, it's, it's not really rubbish, but over here what we've got is we've got, um, we've got a web server uh, that we use or I use to develop websites um, and build them before putting them, moving them to live. Um, we've got a screen here and what we've got is for the top down shots uh, we use this Logitech Brio, uh, this is a 4K camera um, and I was having to set up a laptop every single time um, to be able to uh, do the top down shots. So I always use the video camera with the, uh, the, with the, with the card in it um, but the top down shots, I've been dragging my laptop over here and using OBS on there. Now, um, it doesn't work brilliantly. Um, so what I wanted to do was to think about trying to um, get another system over there. They didn't take up too much room. Um, and so I thought, well, this might be quite useful. So I've done some pre preliminary tests using OBS Studio on here um, with the top down view from the um, Brio 4K cam, that all works absolutely fine. So I thought, actually, you know, um, maybe this is not going to be powerful enough in terms of graphics performance in here, but uh, the initial tests I've done actually are much better than my laptop. So my laptop has a bit of a, it's got one of those um, uh, sort of 4K uh, screens um, that when you run some applications in there, they they don't look brilliant and it's difficult to mess around with the sizes of um, the camera inputs and things. So um, this just outputs uh, straight HDMI 1080p. Um, it's perfectly powerful enough to do the top down shots for what I need um, running OBS Studio and uh, recording that. So um, this will go into the corner so I'll mount it into the cor in the corner over here. I've got a mounting bracket coming, so it's going to go under the shelf there. Um, and then all of the wiring and stuff will be behind the screen, so that should tidy that area up a little bit. So as you can see, this is the testing that I've been doing. Um, there's a whole load of uh, leads, cables, wires and stuff over there. So. So this will give me the ability to get some get a system that I can use um, and have it out of the way so that I can then focus on using this space here for um, doing the uh, doing the sort of review videos that I do. Um, so on the system itself, um, it's got eight gig of memory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade the memory to 16 gig, which will give me plenty of uh, headroom. Um, OBS Studio doesn't really use a huge amount of, uh, of memory, um, but 8 gig, uh, I'm sort of, I'm using about six and a half, seven gig of memory. So um, with, the, with the various tools and bits of software on here that I've got for the camera. Um, so I've bought 16 gig and we're going to open this up. We're going to remove the 8 gig chip that's in there and we're going to replace it with this paired set of 8 gig sticks so that will give us 16 gig of usable memory so um, I'm not going to be able to do the top down shot obviously because I'm using the system itself but uh, I will do my best to show you how we go about upgrading that okay so the first thing that we want to do is on the back of the unit itself we've got a single screw that holds the cover on 
Um, there is a, a little clip as well, a power lead clip. So we've got to, we've got to remove that carefully like that. Um, and then the whole unit slides forward. Like so. And then that just lifts up and moves out the way. So inside the device itself, let's just get zoomed in a little bit for you. Inside the device itself, we've got um, we've got an SSD drive slot, which is not in use, which gives you the expandability if you want to um, use that. Um, we're not using that, so that just slides out and moves out of the way. Underneath here, you can see this is our 256 gig M.2 drive, and the memory modules are underneath the fan assembly. So what you want to do is on the, the, on the front, there's the speaker, the speaker has a cable that runs underneath the fan and round the side. So what we're going to do is we're not, we've got to lift up the fan and then we've got to take the speaker wire off the front of that and move that out of the way. Um, you don't need to unclip the fan at all. That will just uh, quite happily sit to one side. You can see the connector for the fan down here. And if we zoom in a bit more, there we go. So we can see the one eight gig memory module that we've got in there. So that will just pop out. We've got two little clips, one on each side, and the, the module will lift up and slide out. So we take that out and put that to one side. And then we've got the matched pair to go in. So the speed of this memory is 2666 megahertz. Okay, this looks all right. So the first module will go in the bottom with the sticker side up. Being very careful not to damage the speaker cable. So got to go under the two lips at the side and then you want to make sure that that pushes into place in the slot as far as it will go and then you just push that down to lock it in place and the second module goes in the top slot again make sure that you push it all the way in so it's seated as far in as it will go like so, and that will then just clip down like that. So that's the 16 gig installed. Then we put our fan assembly back. We wanna make sure that the cable goes underneath the block at the front, the front. Put the back in first, and then the cable should sit over the top of that peg like that. And that then clips into place. So we've got the speaker cable over the top and underneath. So it roots underneath there and then over the top. That's then in place. Don't necessarily need to put this back in, but um, we will. Because we want to make sure that the, it's all a complete unit. And then that will go back on the top. As you can see, it's a relatively straightforward process. And then clip the, uh, the power cable holder in place. Screw that back up. And that's all there is to it. So that is replacing the memory on um, a Dell Optiplex 3080 microform factor Core i5 now 16 gig of memory 256 gig SSD drive so you're probably wondering well surely if you're doing lots of video you're going to run out of disk storage well um, no because what we actually do is we connect this to the network and we've got a map drive that um, all of the video the video file saves locally and then we just move that onto uh, onto a NAS drive afterwards where we pick it up and work on it uh, to produce the videos. 
Okay, so we've got the final setup done now. So what we've got is the bracket mounted underneath the shelf, which is above the monitor. If we have a look behind here, we've got all the cabling done and tied it away. So you can't see anything down there. Um, the only cable that we've got is here, which is the power extension, which is a four way power extension up under there behind there. Um, and then in the actual unit itself, we've got the cable running up to the, uh, the Logitech Brio, which is now completed. So, um, so that's going to be the recording setup for the overhead camera. And then we're going to carry on using the, um, the webcam, uh, sorry, not the webcam, the video camera for, um, for the actual recording um, of non top down shots. So. If you found that video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you've got any questions on the setup um, and the parts that we used, uh, then just drop them in the comments below. Um, so we're now running the Core i5 um, Optiplex 3080 Micro with 16 gig of memory in it. Um, we are gonna be removing the cabled keyboard and mouse that we've got plugged into there, which is just running down here as a temporary measure, and we'll be using a wireless one um, in the next few weeks.